<laughs> so hey, <laughs> this is a little bit different of a guest. And this is my bunny Elsa. I think I mentioned her on my live stream before. She did manage to get a owie on her face. She's a little bit nervous about being in here. <laughs> Not quite what we usually do when we hang out. Um, but yeah, she had a owie on her face. It wasn't caused by a tooth. Um, we had to take her to the vet because her face just started swelling up one day. I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was a tooth. Now you get an abscess tooth or something. She was getting up there on years, somewhere around me. Six years old at this point. <laughs> she is a Flemish giant crossed with a New Zealand. She's, she's not a purebred. They do get bigger than this. <laughs> this is my cross. Hey everybody, Brandon here, Mr. B's Fish and Things. You guys all know this guy right here, but here's what you don't know and something new. Let's check this out. Okay, so here's Hook in his Oscar tank, we're calling it. And he's got a few tank mates, including this Laparinus that's here, and another one over there. And this girl right there. And guess what they're up to. Yeah. So. I've never had Oscar eggs before, but I'm not surprised because these guys have isolated Shmi. It's like, nope, you go over there. Now nobody's beat up or hurt or anything like that, but for a little while now they haven't been willing to be friendly with one another, basically. So, our buddy Hook, the Red Oscar, and this time. Hey everyone, my name is Priscilla. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how I set up a planted nano tank at the place I'm working at. The goal was to use anything you can easily access in any fish store and the plants are low tech as well which means they don't have any highlight requirements or co2 or anything like that this is a 14 gallon nano cube um, it's made by aquinum it's 15 inches by 15 inches by 15 inches the substrate i used is um, fluval stratum and most of the time i will use fluval stratum for a plant tank I just like that substrate. Then I used serious stone for hardscape and I picked out a few rocks and then I tried to get a layout together. I wanted to create an arch and just put it together plus minus before I would use silicone to silicone the rocks together. But I horribly failed. It collapsed on me as soon as I moved a little bit of the substrate. So I just decided to get the silicone gun and just go for it. So I did that, created that mess because I didn't use any gloves. But the next thing I used is um, spider wood and I did have a lot of those little branches laying around. So I used those in the cracks, tried to attach them with a little bit of silicone as well. I gave the tank about a week to- Hello and welcome back to New York Gold. Today I wanna to talk about these guys. These are the white cloud mountain minnow tank that I have. This is a 20 gallon tank. You can see it's got rocks, pebbles, wood, what is that, java moss, pothos, some fake plants, and that's jungle bell in the back that's stuck back there, not growing very well because it's cold, and a little box filter. No heater. I'm in the basement, it's pretty cold, and these guys are breeding like crazy. So let me show you the. Uh, how much they bred in the last like a month it's crazy all right there i want to say there's i don't know uh 14 16 white clouds in here i don't know something there anyway i know that guy right there with the white fins he's the male i think there's two males in there and all the rest are females there's another male right there but if you look can you see see those little guys scooting on top every other day man there's about between 20 or 30 fry cruising around at the top. Look at all of those little guys. And I, what I do is I scoop them out and I put them in another tank. I'll show you that in a second. But 
The thing is here, if you look at the... This is right just above 60, like 60 and a half. But it's been between, between 60 and 63.